Welcome to the Dementia Land Serial Podcast, a story for everyone who knows someone living in or near Dementia Land. My name is Suska, and this is my story. I'd like to solve the puzzle, Vanna. It's Birds of Paradise. I, is this a mic on now? I, I think this is working. Okay, let's let's start this game. Okay, hello. Can everyone hear me clearly? You are listening to the Wonders in Dementia Land podcast, episode 19, Birds of Paradise. We're at the Aged Oaks Pavilion's dining room, where a large crowd has gathered for the night's evening activities. Okay, now, I I need your attention. Everyone needs to be sitting down before we begin playing the Wheel of Fortune game. Everyone, find your seats. What do you think you're doing? You can't just park yourself here. This is my seat. Everyone knows that. Every Sunday I sit in this exact spot at this exact time. And what did you do with my ascot? It was tied to this chair. It's very expensive. Where is it? Where is my ascot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take your seat. My mother's new here, and we're just excited about game night. And if you don't mind me asking, what's an ascot? I don't like that tone. You may as well learn now, girly. We have rules around here. We have rules that everyone follows without exceptions for sassy visitors like yourself. I turn my back and attention to the room, hoping to find a suitable space for my mother's wheelchair and a seat for myself. Get your hands off of me, you old fool. The accusing man gripped the arm of my mother's wheelchair. Even after she slapped him, he persisted. My mother hit him again, but this time hard with a purse, knocking him nearly to the ground. Finally, he let go of his chair and fell back a bit. Another man, standing at his side, held his stance. The friend tried to calm him down and pointed to the chair just a few feet away. The blue satin ascot was tied to the chair's back post. Hey, Joe, what are you standing there for? Your chair's over here. Oh, okay. My chair seems to have found a more suitable place with a better view. I hope you learned your lesson, little lady. Have a good day. Does everyone have a number? Remember, only when I call your number can the holder of that number guess the letter. The crowd started to ease themselves into the night's activities. They found their seats, stretched their legs, and pushed themselves back to snatch a little extra floor space from the people behind. Okay, everyone, welcome to the Wheel of Fortune game night at the Aged Oaks Pavilion. Before we begin, I want to remind you to be kind and no fighting. Winners of each game will have a choice of either sample meds from our own supplier or a bed gown designed and sewn by Millie's daughter in room 312. Now let's begin. The room was full of erratic traffic. Wheelchairs, as well as the caned and walkables, rolled and wobbled around for the best position near the sheeted stage. Smells of dry parchment, rose water, medicine, and a nip of Yukon Jack to wash down the meds followed them around. Most of the room was in movement, except for a gridlock section in the center aisle. A rather engaging character with bulgy white eyes stopped and stood heroically stoic, Without moving an inch, you would have thought he was glued to the floor. People kept rolling around him as if he was a familiar curve in an often-traveled road. The lady wearing the chenille robe with bunny slippers, and she waved for us to come closer. I wheeled the little woman, my mother, to a perfect viewing seat. Oh, this is good. This is very good. 
My mother was a master at the Wheel of Fortune game, and she was a devoted follower of Bishop Sajak and Sister Vanna. It was relatively calm in the room in a disorganized way, but it wasn't until the fifth game when everything took a bad turn. Vanna pinned 15 sheets of paper onto the hanging white tablecloths behind her. Five sheets of paper were close together, then two, then eight. A single letter scribbled on the reverse side of each sheet was hidden from the audience. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the hidden letters will spell out the name of the movie. Nurse Vanna then pulled the next number from a large glass bowl. Number 44. Whoever has number 44, give me your letter guess. Who is 44? Oh, there was a flock of hands in the air, waving little worn index cards with numbers written in black marker. Who has the number 44? Raise that card number 44, because I can't take your guess unless you have number 44 card in your hand. Several hands waved their carded numbers in the air, but I didn't see any 44. A lady holding number 16 yelled out a letter to Vanna. Give me a B, Vanna. No, no, there's no B. And you never start with a B, for Christ's sake. Give her an S. You always start with the letter S. Holy crap, everyone knows that. I know what I'm talking about. I want a B, like in Bye My Birdie. Oh, dear. She told us the answer. It wasn't even her turn in the first place. Her number is 16. I know her. She cheats. And she steals, too. She puts food from the dining room in her purse. We're not supposed to do that, you know. I think she's the one who stole my teeth. Not these teeth. These are my new ones. They're a much better fit, but I wouldn't tell Clara that. She has a sharpie in her purse, and she writes the number down. When Bennett calls the number, she writes it down and her with her sharpie. You see how what I'm talking about? It, this is what she does. She does it all the time. You know, she's Suska, she, she should have said the letter N. Mom, she's obviously not as experienced as you are. Soon, everyone began yelling out movies they remembered that had the letter B somewhere in the title. Hey, what about Breakfast at Tiffany's? That's a good one. That's a movie. I remember that movie. To Kill a Mockingbird. I think it's To Kill a Mockingbird. Hey, you guys, it's Shitty Shitty Bang Bang. It's pretty obvious. It's Shitty Shitty Bang Bang. It's Shitty Shitty Bang Bang. It's pretty obvious. What about the Bible story? Yeah, I think it could be Shitty Shitty Bang Bang. It really could be. To Kill a Mockingbird. I think it's To Kill a Mockingbird. Lolita, Lolita, it's the movie Lolita. Vanna tried to calm down the group. She surrendered and overturned the random letters. The sheets of the paper spelled out Birds of Paradise. Oh God, I must be on another planet. What in the hell is going on here? Wait a minute, wait a frickin' minute, Miss Vanna. Birds of Paradise is not a movie. It's a flower, for God's sake. It's a flower. A lady sitting in front of me with a pug face and soaked in lavender toilet water snapped at me. It is too a movie. I remember seeing Birds of Paradise with Anne Margaret and my late husband. Why are you trying to cause problems? She's a troublemaker, that one. Just look at her boots. They got blood on them. It's not blood, it's paint. I'm an artist. I'm, I'm a painter. Sit down! You're stopping the game! Why are you trying to ruin everything? Sit down already! She's a troublemaker, that one. My mother pulled at my arm, and I leaned over. Suska, are you sure the birds of paradise is a flower? Ugh. I tried to explain myself from a distance. Vanna was not happy with me. After a disturbing hour and a half of misspelled titles, countless game rule violations, I wheeled my mother out into the hall. I know we could have won big, Mom, but these people just don't play fair. They make up their own rules that make no sense whatsoever. 
Oh, this place just pisses me off. You're wrong, Suska. Bert Lancaster was in Birds of Paradise with Myrna Loy. And beside, I like it here. We wheeled down the corridor together. Not much could be said. I stopped at the bird sanctuary in order to lose sight of our losses. My mother sat there watching the beautiful creatures and whistling to them. At the end of their conversations, she stood up from her chair, placed her hand on her heart, and began to sing. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light was so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rampants we watch were so gallantly slain my mother completed her 10-day treatment at the aged oaks and was relatively happy as for myself I was banned from attending any Wheel of Fortune activities at the Aged Oaks Pavilion.